Bearded Bright Piper here again on a Wednesday evening. Uh, another nice day uh, in the 60s, upper 60s. Really enjoyable. Uh, most of the, from most of the day, I got to enjoy. I have been home all day. Uh, I just been. I didn't go to work today, and uh, my back had to go to my end up giving in, going to my chiropractor. He said it was all out of whack and had to do electrical, electrical, electro uh, pulsing the little pads they put on your back. And I'm feeling it. Uh, I don't know what the deal is with my uh, head right now. I got an awful headache. Uh, I don't know. It's caused from my back and going all the way up into my neck, but it's it's pretty bad. And my this headache is almost to the point of making me nauseous. So I'm taking it easy tonight. Took four tonal extra strength. Uh, I left my other pills at work, so I couldn't take my good pills. That helps with a good percentage of the pain. Oh man! Well, uh, pardon me if I'm not so upbeat tonight. <sighs> Try to be my uppity up uh, I'm smoking my new uh, Rugged Tundra by Sinevi Sinelli Savinelli Dang. sorry about that uh, you all are gonna witness me breaking this bad boy in uh, I'm smoking Frog Morton on the Bayou I never really really realized this bowl's a decent sized bowl I mean probably about right there on my finger almost to my knuckle and uh, I was throwing tobacco in there and you know doing the whole you know packing it I'm like man I'm not even packed all the way it's a wide beefy bowl this pipe is pretty beefy itself Yeah, I'm telling you guys right now, it's getting ready to storm. Hopefully, it's not going to hit when I'm doing this video. I mean, if you all were seeing what I'm looking at right now, I mean, it is lighting up the sky right now. Uh, I mean, it is lightning everywhere. It's a heat lightning from what I could see. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, and it's moving in fast. I mean, it was windy today, and it's going to hit pretty soon so I better get what I can get done on this video for y'all oh man try to get my cake going here I gotta get used to this new lighter I got. I like to put the head down in the bowl. This you're supposed to just hold there. I'm having troubles getting this thing lit pretty good. Uh, I think this tobacco is still pretty moist. I had the tin open for a while to let it dry out. So that might be part of the problem of why it's uh, um, having a hard time getting it lit here. Anyway, how... So I went to my chiropractor today and uh, 
I'm really good friends with his son. We've been friends for, oh God, yeah. for a long time, since almost probably when I was, we were 12, 13. Anyway, I went and seen him. We went and took, drove around the town I used to live in. Reminisce on some memories and had a good time. We went and seen a creek or a river we used to go hang out at and just throw rocks in the creek and the or in the river and skip them and we'd swim there during the summer. We went and seen that. Brought back some memories. Miss the country. He was talking about wanting to go uh, do the Appalachian uh, Trail for six months. And uh, me having the job and all that, uh, you know, it sounds awesome. I know my other friend, the outdoors dude you've all met. Uh, uh, he definitely wants to backpacking, and that's one of his, I think, dreams is to go and hit up the Appalachian Trail. Uh, but he is a family man and has children right now. Me on the other hand, I'm a bachelor, but when it comes to stuff like that, I mean, I could do it, but in the long run, is it going to really, you know, get me anywhere I mean I after it would be all done and I would have to go get a job and uh, have to build up a little bit more income so Whew. it sucks having back pain if you all have ever experienced back pain you know what I'm talking about it starts in one spot and it just travels and now I'm dealing with it in my head. Oh, it's pretty, pretty painful right now. I love the look of this pipe. By the way, the draw on this pipe is pretty good. Something I noticed to myself the other day is all my pipes have never, I've never owned a straight pipe. Actually, I, refer, I changed that back. My very first corn cob, uh, uh, the little cheapo one, was a straight pipe. But I've never had a poker pipe. Or... They've always had a little, you know, the slope. Uh, last night, uh, well, actually this morning, uh, I woke up with my lips swelling up here. I don't know what happened. Uh, I don't know if I got a little uh, bit from my pipe last night without realizing. I never, I hardly get that tongue bite you know, on my lip. It was really tender. Felt like I burnt it, so I probably did. On the corn cob smoke last night. Shoot. Went out on me. Get the sucker going. Uh, it's about 10.40 right now. At night, obviously. But believe it or not, there's a lot of traffic still going. And here comes the wind, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. This storm I'm watching right now is 
it's uh, moving almost about over me right now and I have a feeling once it hits that point it's gonna drop rain and it's gonna let out its fury if y'all don't know this or have I never brought it up to y'all is a uh, I've always loved storms and I've loved weather uh, growing up my parents I would always ask them for my like my birthday or whatnot uh, weather books or weather posters and stuff uh, we had a guy live with us for a while and he was actually a weather chaser he got me into that he would bring me on some chases of course I was awful young so my parents didn't want him to bring me on the really bad chases like tornadoes But the older I got, by the time I, I was able to drive on my own, I'd sneak off and I'd go chase them storms. And I still enjoy doing it. I haven't checked the weather for this evening either, so I don't I don't know if they're calling for severe weather. From what I can see, it looks just like a a decent thunderhead. A lot of heat lightning so I mean we might get some severe severe weather maybe some hail you can really tell that the cool the coolness it's bringing in it's pushing it through from the matter I came out here and started the video it's cooled off a lot something I watching Grandpa Bones video um, and he kind of brought up a subject of, that is true um, about smoking in facilities and or around parks and whatnot and this is my opinion on it too and it's kind of like his uh, stand strong on his opinion is uh, the fact that one of the tobacco facilities I go to uh, doesn't allow it because of the city ordinance and the law and all that. Uh, but then there's another tobacco store I go to that does allow smoking. But the only reason they're allowed to is they were grandfathered in. Uh, they've been there forever and ever. And uh, I guess the law didn't affect it somehow. So there is one one place still in the city I know of, and that's the place to, uh, right there um, that you can smoke at. Um, crazy deal, though. Uh, crazy deal is... Um, sorry, there is a huge spider crawling over my stinking phone. Right there. Get, uh, nope. He's getting ready to visit you all here in a little bit. Um, anyway, I have tried to smoke at a park once, and um, I've been jumped by people before uh, telling me I can't smoke and all that. Even though I'm not nowhere around other people or children, that it, it's frowned upon. Even though it's outdoors, they can't really do that. I don't think I'll have to look into that, but. I see is if you're outside and you're in the open what does it matter anyway uh, there is uh, some small towns in my general area around the city that I know in some bars and some restaurants actually still allow smoking which is fun and cool with me because uh, sometimes one of my good friends lives in the, one of those towns and I'll go visit him and I'll drink at the bar and have a few smokes I appreciate you all you guys that have subscribed to me and that at least I know of I know of that you like my videos Uh, my rambling and my slurring and messing up on words and whatnot. Uh, I try to keep it going. I try to keep it interesting. 
Hopefully I'm doing that for y'all. Uh. Man, I tell you, I'm going to just show you all what you all, what I'm seeing right now. You all have got to see what I'm seeing. y'all are seeing what I'm saying so it's kind of a distraction for me I enjoy watching storms um, believe it or not a corn cob my new corn cob uh, pipe uh, weighs a little bit more than this pipe and it's briar I don't for some reason this pipe feels lighter I really like the feeling of this pipe, how you, it feels in my hand and how it sits in my mouth. That's a good bite. Well, guys, I think I'm going to cut this video short tonight. Uh, I'm at 16 minutes. This headache ain't going away anytime soon, I don't think. I'm praying and hoping that this back pain that I'm dealing with all the way up in my neck it will just dis dissipate overnight, but I don't think it is. I'm hoping I'll be able to make it to work tomorrow. But the way I'm feeling right now is just... I don't know, it's just sucks. Try not to let pain bring me down, but sometimes it does, and sometimes it just makes me feel like a wuss. Uh, I could tolerate pain pretty well, but when it gets to a certain point, uh, you know, anyone will break at a certain point. Well, guys, it's the Bearded Briar Piper signing out here on a stormy Wednesday night. Hoping that you all uh, enjoy the rest of your all's evening or morning. And remember, keep smoking your pipe and enjoy your day.